Before the video starts, I just want to let you know about the most recent Super Geek Box that was sent to me. This theme was Rogue, and it's in the vein of the more recent Star Wars movie Rogue One release. This contains a lot of Star Wars stuff for any Star Wars fan and casual Star Wars fan as well. And if you guys like what you see in this little preview, you can check out Super Geek Box in the description below. I get a kickback, you get 10% off, and everyone wins. Anytime I can have an excuse to play me some Super Super Mario World, I'll take it. So Super Mario Run Android pre-registration is now available. Yeah, uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, do you guys remember when Super Mario Run pre-registration was available for iOS? Yeah, okay, so lots of people did that. They pre-registered. Cool, cool, I'm down with that. I got you. Uh, as the story details here, I'll pop it on screen. Uh, the Nintendo of America's Twitter account, Android users can pre-register for Google play and receive notifications as soon as the auto runner becomes available for download but here's the thing um it's it's free to download anyways uh the day it comes out every single website that is gaming oriented will be covering it tons of youtubers will be covering it and there will be buttloads of how to get free coins glitches on the android side of the phone users for the youtube videos so i'm not really sure why this is kind of a big deal I saw a lot of people telling me about it. I saw a lot of activity with it as well. And I'm just not 100% sure why. Because a lot of games come out. But these are the first few games that I've seen like pre-register to get an alert when the game is released. Like most people who play games know that a game is going to release on a certain day. They're almost positive about it. Like this is how it goes with me. So there's a game that's going to be coming out. I will know the ballpark range of the year that it'll come out. Then as it starts to creep closer to that year, I'll find out the month that it's supposed to come out. Then I'll know the ballpark range of the month, and when it actually gets into that month, I will check on the specific date it's supposed to be released. So I don't get my hopes up like Final Fantasy 15 was and get delayed several more times and just get completely destroyed. So I don't really understand this philosophy of this, and I think this is kind of pre-order culture that I'm not 100% sure of. I'm not trying to talk shit on it, okay? I understand that. You don't want to keep these things forefront in your mind, especially if you're a casual. You don't give a shit. You just want to play games, have fun, whatever. You're not really a big gamer. Cool, fine. Not not, not a big deal. But it's weird because you would want to know when the game is out, like like the first day. Like, you couldn't just randomly check it. Like, your friends wouldn't be playing Super Mario Run or something. Like, it wouldn't even be in the news or something. Like, I don't understand it. This is like an almost useless thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just, I'm, I'm very pessimistic mystic or something why don't you leave me a comment down in the section below if you did pre-order for this or see there i go again with the pre-order culture if you did pre-register let me know why and what you thought and if if you're excited to play mario run on android i am i have my s7 and i'm i'm ready to go jen's got her s6 she's ready to go we're gonna be playing it that's for sure but you know i don't think i'm gonna pre-register because i don't get anything for it i just don't and i, I don't want to go through the effort because, again, I just don't get anything for it. The game will come out, I'll download it and play it, and that's all there is to it. So, let me know your thoughts, questions, concerns, and opinions in the comment section below. I'm Aeris Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, and God bless. Thanks for watching.